fucking blew my mind, like, the way they had him as a fucking badass bad guy, you know? He was just killing everybody. Cyclops is bro, right? Yeah, Cyclops is his brother. And then uh, you had, yeah, then you had him, and then you had the... Uh, then you have a Sinister's creation of Jean Grey and uh, Cyclops. Nate, 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 Nate Summers. Nate Summers, yeah. So he might come back. I don't know. They fucked up his character in the regular Marvel Yeah, movie. yeah. If he had, they had kept him the way he was in the Age of they, they brought him back on the, uh, what you're telling me, they canceled. I don't know why. He did such a great, great run. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men series, oh, yeah. uh, series 1, season 1. Mm-hmm. At the end of it, they showed him, right? They showed Nate Summers. It rolls into uh, the Age of Apocalypse. And he looked just and like he did in the comics. And he looked just like Cyclops, and he looked just like that. But the thing is, they had him, and they also had Cyclops, mm-hmm. with the one eye and long yep. hair. They, uh, I don't see why, I don't, I'll never fucking get why they decided not to continue that series. That was bullshit, that was such a great series. I wasn't, I wasn't a, uh, I wasn't. I didn't like it at first. Cause last time it's gonna be X Men. It's gonna be Wolverine running the X Men. I was like, uh, just because Wolverine's popular now, but it did pretty good. We were. It did really good. You know how close we were to getting an a real animated Age of Apocalypse. Uh, the next season was gonna be, Age, gonna of be Apocalypse. Age of Apocalypse with all the the costumes, the design, the yeah. storyline, and they, and they canceled it. it. They fucking just canceled it right there. We only get one shot of Age of Apocalypse. Just that last, it's the last uh, 30 seconds of, of X-Men Season 1. Yep. Apocalypse comes out of this fucking floating fortress. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it going. All and, right. and anyway, um, um, I'm thrilled because it's big last. Apparently they're going to have a prequel and a sequel. It's going to be a prequel of how of pretty much uh, pretty much Apocalypse. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Age of Apocalypse in the series of the original ones, uh, it's going to be a prequel to that one. They're not going to touch up on it because... Uh, they're not going to touch up on the original Age of Apocalypse because that's classic as it is. Then they will do a sequel 
of what happened after the Age of Apocalypse, where apparently everything blew up. Uh, that ultimate bomb where you have, uh, you know, Rogue holding Magneto or whatnot. Uh, they're gonna, it's going to continue on how the world didn't end because of the Age of Apocalypse. So, it's a trip. We're, we're very, I, I'm, I'm happy because we haven't heard anything good about Apocalypse in, I, I want to say, a very long time. Damn near 15 years. Yeah, you've had your little spin-off series or, or somebody's personal little uh, multi-universe about Apocalypse, but nothing, nothing this good or creative that, that's come out for Apocalypse in a long time. Um, we don't know the release date, however. Uh, um, it's probably going to come out next month or something since they released it, the, the news earlier this week. Either way, they're going to be badass. I mean, we, we don't know who's coming back. We don't know what render of Wolverine they're going to have. We don't know if Cyclops is going to be Cyclops or if Cyclops is going to be a part of Apocalypse. Nothing. Uh, we don't know how it's going to affect them because the last time we heard anything from the X-Men, they were fighting off the Avengers. Uh, they were fighting off the... I forget what, what the name of the Avengers were, but it wasn't the original Avengers. It was the uh, it was Norman Oswald's Avengers. And uh, X-Men pretty much kicked the shit out of them, uh, even though they did have Century. Todd, uh, Todd McFarlane's back in the news. He's, he's got Spawn coming again. Uh, can't wait for that. I just hope... I just hope he doesn't do uh, a comic series and then leave for five years. Hey, hey, I got another one coming out. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's such a dick move of him to do, uh, you know, keeping his fans in suspense like that and waiting. The new 52 um, did, did Supreme with the Justice League. And now they are reintroducing Darkseid. And he looks fucking awesome. Ugh. The dude looks wicked. He's like uh, fucking, uh... Like, like a, a damn god. god. Like a god. Like what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, well, I was telling him about, you know, how... I, I didn't go much into it because I didn't know really that much about how you're talking about they're going to do a prequel and sequel to the Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Now they're going to do flashbacks to the parts of Age of Apocalypse that they didn't show yeah. in the original uh, miniseries, and then they're going to show ongoing how... Uh, how everything continued afterwards. Yeah, how everything continued afterwards. So, should be alright. I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it, really. I mean, it just... Well, I was, I was, like I was saying, I mean, it, it, it should be awesome. I mean, because we don't know how they're going to render their looks now. How is Wolverine going to look? Is he still going to have the long hair? He's like, who's going to be in it? You know? Yeah, yeah, true. Because a lot of them did die. <laughs> they fucking killed off a lot of characters. A lot of characters did at die. the end of the, the Omega. Fucking uh, what's his face? The metal boy. Um, Colossus. Colossus kills Kitty. Yeah, he ran. He walks all over, kills her. He shatters Iceman. Uh, Beast, the evil Beast, gets teleported out. I love the evil Beast. The evil, evil Beast, Beast is awesome. awesome. Yeah. Um, Great character. But Warren loses it. <laughs> I remember I like how uh, they killed Colossus though. He was a rampaging maniac and uh, he lost it. And uh, only because he killed Kitty. Yeah, and Gambit, fucking with those metal uh, cu uh, uh, pieces, he could fucking just sh shred them. Very random that they had random as a key player, you mm. know, especially killing somebody of that that altitude of strength. Yeah. Yeah. So. They, yeah, they, they, they really... And now everybody relying on Magneto. That was, that was such a great spin-off, you know. Rogue being one of the most powerful mutants. You know, that's insane. What's cool is that she didn't have super strength. She had a little bit of Magneto power. So he was giving it up to her. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But I mean, that's the thing that's funny about Marvel is that uh, it was interesting about... And I'm happy they didn't introduce it in the movie. Because <laughs> oh, no. of the way they cast it, they cast a fucking uh, old man as uh, Magneto and a young girl as uh, Rogue. Rogue. But in the comics, Rogue and Magneto have a little affair. Yeah, and they have a kid. And, well, apparently, well, even in the regular comics, they have an affair. And um, the reason they're able to do it is because Magneto is able to. He's the only one in Marvel that's able to have sex with her. 
without dying. Because he creates an electromagnetic field over himself. That's awesome. <laughs> right? That's the ultimate condom right there. Fuck yeah, dude. So Gambit can't fuck her? Nobody else can fuck her. Fuck well, Gambit can, but he'll die. Yeah, he's, he will probably they die in die, like, five seconds. He'll be the ultimate orgasm. Like, yeah, like, uh, ah, yeah, ah. I can't stop. Ah. <laughs> Just die. Just die right there. Better be the sex of your life. Pretty <laughs> much. <'cause laughs> That's going to be it. That's going to be it. <laughs> so, yeah, the only man that can do it is Magneto. I was telling him about uh, Topic Farland back in, you know, with the uh, spawn. Mm -hmm. But I hope he doesn't do what he did like the last time because the last time he did spawn he, uh, even after the, the animated series after the movies he did spawn and then he did like seven comics and nobody heard from him again he goes over to Marvel World and starts doing some shit with, with Venom and all that stuff and then all of a sudden it's been like eight years now and he's back again with another series of spawn it's like you know I I, I think that's a as a dick of him to do, like, okay, I'm gonna have a new spawn, and then he'll he release like five comics, and then he'll disappear again. Uh, like, is, 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 did he lose everything, any type of inspiration to do with spawn now? I mean, is that that's going on? He doesn't know how far he can take spawn. I think he just got bored. I mean, nobody nobody even knows what's going on with spawn anymore. I don't know what the storyline is. I don't know what I lost it. All I know is the, the the idea of Spawn right now. That you know, as far as I know, he could have a new Spawn. It could be a new Spawn. It could be another guy. Yeah, it could be another guy. Know. That's what I mean. It's not Al Simmons anymore. That's but weird. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fucking current status of the character or any of his stories or anything. I mean, shouldn't he like lost his power by now? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Something should have happened. It's been years. It's been like 20 years of Spawn character. He's still killing, you know, you're going to lose your, your, your magic. It's like, did they, what did they do? I don't know. I mean, the best Spawn story I ever read was like only the sixth issue of the comic. The very sixth, uh, it had just started. And there was the one comic where uh, there's a serial killer and he's fucking, uh, he uh, runs an ice cream Is that the clown? Yeah, where he takes uh, his, his daughter. Yeah, well, in the comic, it, it he he kills him in like three three issues. He Spawn finds out about this guy that's yeah. fucking kidnapping little. I have kids. that one on the animated series. Yeah, he's kidnapping little, but in the comic, it's more gra gruesome. Damn, it was pretty him. graphic in the series too. No, yeah, in the comic, he finds out about it, and and he notices that the guy is picking off little kids in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, and so he's like. Before he can get to his, his little girl, that dude challenges him. He says, why don't you do something for somebody else instead of just fucking being called selfish? Yeah, your girl. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you fucking uh, do something? And he goes, what do you want me to do? He goes, oh, the old man in the alley? Yeah, he goes, so it's done. Yeah, so it begins. <laughs> and he tells him, why don't you be fucking... <laughs> fucking taking a shit. So it begins. <laughs> so it begins. Now. <laughs> and forever. And so, so Fon's like, okay. I'll check into it. I'll see what's going on. He doesn't really give a shit though. Yeah, yeah. But then he watches and he sees what the guy does. And he's like, he what the fuck? Yeah. He doesn't do anything though. He watches what he does and he's like, he's so detached from it. He doesn't give a fuck. Well, I mean, but then he thinks he's from hell. Yeah, I know. And then he thinks about it and he's like, he yeah. sees his own daughter there. And he's like, oh, what is that? I got a Then he imagines Yeah, yeah. And he's like, all right, I got to take care now of that. Now he's So he finds the guy and. I mean, he, he, uh, he actually, he doesn't care if he saves one of his little girls, he just wants to kill the guy. So he fucking, he actually interrupts him and he's going to kill some chick, the little girl. Then, uh, the Secret Service, the dad, the kid, the, the, they work for the father of the, of the killer, because the father is, uh, yeah, like, like his dad's a real pot, like high government type yeah. deal. So they go looking for the kid, for the guy, the, the fucking kid. killer, yeah. and he's in a church. And they're like, why is he in a church? So they go into the church. They go into the back room. And Bond strung him up naked from his feet and stabbed him with ice cream bars everywhere, all over his body. Popsicle sticks, I know. Sharp. He, he, he oh, fucking okay. stabbed him with, with popsicle sticks everywhere. And then he wrote in blood, he made them scream and scream. So I made him scream and scream and scream and scream. And scream. That's awesome. 
That was the end of that story, and then they, they put it in the, in the cartoon. The cartoon is very short, and it only deals with Al Simmons' mm-hmm. daughter. And Al, uh, and, and the cartoon, you know, like it says, Spawn's like, he didn't give a shit about this guy. He's like, I got other things to do. I got to I gotta fix myself, blah, blah, blah. And then he finds out that he took Seria, or whatever his name is. Mm-hmm. And he, but he doesn't kill him with possibly. I mean, he just gets the chain and shit like that. And I remember, uh, it's, it's just the uh, violator that shoots him in the head. Yeah. So, but <laughs> I thought I, maybe it was too strong to do that in the kind of the cartoon. What? It would have been perfect. I know. Right? All the shit they showed in the cartoon. I was waiting for that to happen. Glory, yeah. I was waiting for that to happen. I mean, shit. They show a cartoon getting another chick from behind. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah. And he starts crying. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Fucking love that shit. Chapel. Chapel's a great character. Yeah, he goes all nuts in there. Though. Yeah, he's all he's banging her from behind. He's alive. Yeah, yeah. He starts talking. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, wow. I think that was one of the coolest like uh, awesome. makeup makeup. Uh, oh, the chapter. Yeah, he had the fucking cross, and then everything was just black. Chapel was awesome. something uh, resonant with you. Mm-hmm. In fact, my dream uh, uh, team for uh, a new Spawn movie would be. Uh, Why haven't they done a new Spawn, man? I don't know. Remake the one that they did. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I don't care. I think John Leguizano did a pretty good You know, I like, watched it again because I only had memories of it from when I was young. I have it. <laughs> yeah, I watched it again. Yeah, we watched it. Shit, we watched it here. And I watched it again. And, you know, I have to say that it's pretty entertaining. It's pretty good. It's funny, but it's not fun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty not. good. It's like, it's entertaining. But, you know, you think about you it. You know it's not fun. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't compare... To the cartoons. Oh no! Oh no! Not the HBO series. in any way. Uh, but I did like John Leguizano as the Violator. Right. I, 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 did think, like... I think he he did a great job as it. Spawn, <laughs> Spawn, he's a man. He can do it. No one can. He's in that cheerleader outfit. It was fucking hilarious, man. Oh man. What is that? Are you? Are you did that dump truck just keep hitting you and hitting you? <laughs> he's at the coffin. He's like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, another uh, spin-off. It looks like a multi-universe. What, uh, what is it called when they take an idea and they make it their own? Another, uh, what is it, universe? Uh, alternate universe. Alternate universe. Cable versus Iron Man. Yeah. Cable's at it again, folks. Gonna go kill another good guy for the good of mankind. Why? I guess just because he feels like it. I'm not a fan of Cable. Never was, not really, no. Um, they say he's the strongest telekinesis mutant ever, but yet all of it goes to him fighting off uh, Apocalypse's virus. Yep. What the hell? When is he gonna beat it finally, you know? I want to see his ultimate telekinesis power. He's supposed to be like Professor X, ain't he? Well, that's the thing. He has to, uh, yeah, he uses all his energy to keep, to himself, keep himself alive. Yeah. So that's why he's not as powerful as he can be. Cut off your arm. <laughs> no, no. It's his half his body. They, they, there's a comic where um, he, they think, everybody thought Magneto was dead. And uh, Magneto goes around for a couple of issues. At the end of every comic, he'll appear just to fuck somebody up that was threatening him. So that way, when he starts his new, when he's going to take over the world, nobody's a threat. So, at the end of every issue, he shows up, right? So yeah, but then, so there's then, a, co- a cable. Uh, didn't uh, Magneto have another character that he went by? He had a hat or something on, mm-hmm. a helmet or something. Oh, I think it was after. But this is okay. early. This is the 90s. And uh, so, there's the X-Force issue. Okay. X-Force, they did this mission, and we, everybody takes off. Cable's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go fix some shit. So he's like there, and he's fixing something. I'm about and here comes fucking Magneto, off. and he sees all his tools like fucking levitating. But what's Magneto doing in the era of Cable, or is Cable still stuck in our? He's right? back in time. Okay, okay. Right. So he tells that Force go do shit. All his tools are fucking floating. He's like, he's like, whoa, what's going on? But he knows. He's like, oh, Magneto. He's like, fucking right away. Get he's got his gun ready, and Magneto's like, it's like, uh, <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, like you're that. gonna do you're, nothing. That's not gonna. Be shit. He's all fucking like that, and he fucking tears his ass apart. He tears him in half. So the cable's on the ground, and he's basically half a man. 
So is that all, half computer? All his half, all his metal half is almost mel it's melting away. And so he's half. He's just laying there. He's dying. He's fuck. I got he's it. He's bleeding. He's got blood coming out. He's everywhere. He's just half. And Magneto is like, I, you, I think you got about 30 seconds. <laughs> it's all hardcore. <laughs> and Magneto just fucking leaves. And then you're left wondering if Cable's gonna make it. You know, he's all fucked. He's like, he's like that. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Cable uses his ultimate power to stay alive, or yeah, what? he teleports or something what? to to his ship to get but, fixed. Yeah, to get fixed. But but uh, it it was an awesome visual of showing just how bad it is. His fucking problem is because it's half his body is pretty much mechanical. Now, is it half mechanical because of that virus? Mm -hmm. Like. What kind of virus was so it? Techno organic virus. Oh, so it's pretty much making it into a metal. Yeah. And it's winning. Yeah. So he's half metal. So why doesn't he want to just be metal? Because he'll die. Yeah, but he'll be, <laughs> he'll, he'll still be cable. No, he'll a, be dead. He'll be a, a cyborg. No, he'll be dead. Oh. He won't have no organs. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got some organs metal, aren't they? No, he, he was able to stop it. It's only his arm and part of his face, and then his leg, and then, you know... It, what if it, does it have his brain if it's on his face? No, no, no. It's on, it's on, like, it's, 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 it's all over the ball. Yeah, right there. And he was able to, he's able to keep it away just by thinking about, like, his power. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm getting tired of them dragging on cable like that. It's like, look, are you going to beat her or what? Because I want to see this ultimate power he's supposed to possess. Because he's supposed to be the strongest as far as the Nate, tele telekinesis. Nate, Nate? X Men. Yeah. That was Cable. If he didn't have the the, the virus. Yeah, but Nate was made by Sinister, so that's a test tube baby. Same. No, no. So was Cable. I thought Cable was just naturally born from um, Scott and Gene. No, man. Uh, fucking. Uh, well, in the isn't that saying in the story that that's their son? That that's the son that they. Because it's not their son. What? Yeah. Um. <laughs> now they have two test tube babies. Yes. Yes, they do. God damn because man. Uh, Sinister, when Jean Grey got killed, but Scott never hugs Jean. He There's did. no justice in he that. He did bang Jean, but uh, Sinister made a clone of Jean. When Jean died from the Phoenix, he brought her back, and he had her. She was genetically altered, though. She was not the same. She fucked Scott. They had a kid that was genetically engineered by Sinister. That was Cable. Apocalypse, they were fighting Apocalypse at the time, and Apocalypse got beat by the X, by the X Factor. And so he said, you know what, fuck y'all. And he fucking shot uh, the kid with the, the virus. So they had to send him to the future. Ah, that's Cable. Mm -hmm. And he became Cable in the future. So Cable's still originally from this time, not from the future. Mm -hmm. He was from this time. He was born here. But he had, they had to send him to the future so that way he could... Uh, Fucking uh, not survive the virus. And what about the other kid, Nate? Nate, the X X Man, the X Factor, whatever. From his name Apocalypse, is. the Major Apocalypse. He is uh, from the DNA of Gene and Scott from Major Apocalypse. Well, he don't have like ultimate power, does he? He's got beyond ultimate power. <laughs> That's why Sinister wanted to do that. Oh, uh, okay. His whole deal, his whole life was that he was gonna find the perfect couple, uh, couple, and make a, a breed, a breed, make a breed. With ultimate power. So he found him, and that's what he's doing. You know, about Sinister, why would you only make one or two? Why not make fucking 20 or 30? In Age of Apocalypse, he did try. They show uh, Beast, his lab, the Evil Beast. Yeah, Evil Beast is there in his lab, and it's going to fall apart. And all the fucking people escape, because Cyclops and uh, Gene, they, they, make your, they let everybody out. They reunite. And they fucking get into a room, and there's all these clones of Nate ah. in a big-ass hall. And they fucking blow it up. So, Gene dies only to come back altered and then die again. Is that, is that what I'm, is that what I'm mm -hmm. hearing? And the Phoenix, who is the original Gene, is not even on Earth? In another galaxy or something. She's in another galaxy, right? With Leandra or whatever. Yeah, Leandra, yeah. Man, I missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's fucking confusing, man. I, I don't take it as the original Gene dying. She's just now the Phoenix. Yeah, the two of them are now one. 
She went in there to re be reborn. Yeah, but, but she's now Phoenix. She's in the meantime... She's no longer Jean. She's just Phoenix. Yeah. Ultimate power. But Sinister said, fuck that. I want Jean. Boom. I'll alter my way. Make her a nymph. Go after Scott. Bring me back my baby. Mm -hmm. Scott's gonna have a change of heart at the last minute. Because Jean and Scott remember who they were before. And then they both end up dying anyway. So, okay... I mean, the Age of Apocalypse one was, was better. I thought it was better than the real one. Because it shows that, that Cyclops and Gene, they never met. So it was just Cyclops, it was just Gene and Wolverine that fell in love. Oh. And Cy Cyclops and uh, Wolverine and, and Gene, they go to the pens where Beast, Evil Beast and Sinister are, are experimenting. Yeah, yeah. And they try to, to free all the slaves. And that's where Cyclops and Jean meet for the first time. And they feel it like a connection. Like attraction, like a hardcore attraction. And then uh, that's when uh, fucking uh, Sinister, he's like, oh, they uh, met. I have an idea. <laughs> I've been watching them for years. So that's when he gets the DNA. He they don't have sex. He just has the DNA. And he puts it together to make, with evil beasts to help him. And they make Nate. So, man, okay, that was yeah. just on the previous Age of Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do on the new one. Man, the old school Age of Apocalypse was awesome. It had so much so much detail. And oh well, 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 let's get back to uh, the Cable and Iron Man. What do you think? Like, why are they bringing Cable back to begin with? And uh, I think it's again just another popularity thing that they they have Iron Man there. Personally, I think Iron Man is boring as shit as far as the comics. The comics of Iron Man? Yeah, they're there. They blow. You buy one, like, regular issue of Iron Man, it's pretty fucking boring. It's, it's beyond boring. But, I mean, you put him in with somebody else, like the Avengers. Oh, yeah. Anybody so, else. Anybody else. It, it could be fucking Woodman that we created for, <laughs> the, fucking for the negative X-Men, you know? The negative men. Woodman! <laughs> What man was great. <laughs> Get him in a forest, you're done with. You're fucking over, man. That's it. I don't care who you are. Apocalypse Magneto, you don't want to fight that guy in a forest. But he always has pencils with him. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Just in case. And the number two, baby. <laughs> he's, got, he's always got pencils. Just in case. Or he can have, like, pencils coming out of his head, like pinhead. <laughs> Just number two pencils, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just make him ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you have nothing to fight me with, Woodman. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Did you know why I wore wooden shoes today? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay. like, oh. He has a, he has like a jacket and uh, up his sleeve, like most people <laughs> carry guns. He has fucking two fists. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that? Wait, oh, he's, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, she's too thick at eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. All these boxes. Two things. Pop to go take. Fucking matches. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's pretty much what we think of the Iron Man and Cable. <laughs> I mean, really. Wood <laughs> Man will be more interesting. <laughs> Wood Man was uh was created by by TK. We have a oh, we have our yeah. own team. Who would play Woodman in the movie? Oh, God, it's got to be to be like somebody. Nick Nolte, man. No, <laughs> I want him kind of uh, not too old, but uh, like late forties. Hmm. We have, we did we have, I haven't even come up with a design yet for Woodman. <laughs> I got I got to think of that. Would he just be a dude? We have uh we got Woodman. We have the guy that does the hair. Oh yeah. We got guys that <laughs> we have the guy that can clean you, the the with the bubbles. Yeah, he's a master. Of you got the guy with the uh, is it what what is the other one that he's able to? Because we had five. I know we had we had Woodman. We had the guy with the hair. He can take your hair off, or he can make it longer and choke yeah, you with yeah. it. And then you he have controls the controls all hair. You have the guy that uh, he controls all hair. You have the guy that that watches people or just watches anything in general. He just uh, watch. Yeah, because he like he throws bubbles. Oh yeah, <laughs> just cleaning bubbles. That's right. He watches. Yeah, that's right. And then we had two more. I forget what the others were. 
We I have them in here actually. I'll look for them. Where is the unman? Uh God, what was it called? Greatest team ever. The the negative men, I think that's what we negative. call them. No, no, they're on a level that's like so far beyond. It's negative. It's negative. Oh man, I, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find. I know we have it. Cause we did that the, ah. the day that we saw uh, the first class. We did the negative men. If it's not on here, it's on the paper, and I'll find that later. Oh man, what did I do with the negative? Oh no, man? negative. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be on there. Uh, <laughs> Shit. What a bitch. I lost the negative man. Oh well. It's, they're still in our hearts and minds. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna find these. What are we talking? I keep elaborating on the cable crap. Well, I mean, shit. Uh, you know, uh, he is boring, man. He, he, yeah, he gets. He can get boring, you know, pretty easily. And uh, man, I don't even know what the fuck they're doing with the X Men comics right now. But I do know that for some reason he's fighting Iron Man, and I guess that's enough. That's good enough reason, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I think they're only involving Iron Man because he's popular right now, obviously. Uh, you know who would fight good Iron Man? Uh, uh, no, a good cable? That dude from Avatar. Yeah, yeah, he's got that the guy. H, yeah. Do yeah. you want to see my pet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome to, uh, welcome to my van. My van's pretty awesome. Did you find me a shirt? <laughs> Did you find me a shirt? Ah, I lost the negative man. Uh, we'll have to rebuild. We'll rebuild it. Fantastic. Casey's okay, so got those awesome hot ones again. But we're missing two of them, man. We had, we got the wood guy, we got the the hair guy, the bubble guy, and we had two other two, two other shitty ass. Uh, two sh- I mean, beyond shitty. On <laughs> another level. Oh man. Uh, fuck. Where? Well, they'll come back to us. They will. They will. Let's move on. We had, we had a negative team. Uh, it was funny as shit. <laughs> uh, the wood man pretty much controlled anything based on wood. Oh, awesomeness that I just remembered right now. Hmm. Uh, they're making, DC is making prequels to Watchmen. Prequel comics. Mm. They're making, yeah, they're making them. They have artists ready. They're, they're already dirty Why? drawing. Money. Money. They, I, I wouldn't agree with that. I just, the, the original writer, Alan Moore, he thought it had nothing to do with it. He's like, fuck y'all. Yeah, I mean, Watchmen alone was. They, they wanted him to be involved. You consider that a cult class. I they mean, wanted him to be involved in like uh, the 20th, 30th, 25th anniversary, and he was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no interest at all, because you guys are just fucking, uh, I mean, they're in the movie. Okay, the movie's good. Yeah, the movie's it's fucking good. awesome. But there's a reason why he only did one one series, because there's nothing else to tell. tell. That's it. And everything was there. Boring. Everything was there. So now they want to fucking water it down a little bit. DC, they want to make some money. Everything, they can't do any prequels because everything that happened and it was said and done was explained in The Watchmen. Right, right. So, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but... What are they going to do? Uh, they're going to elaborate on the Minutemen? They could. Or they'll... Either they'll elaborate on the Minutemen or they'll elaborate on everything that happened in the 70s for the movie. And, hey, you know, what? No, nah, I'm not down with that. Yeah, but uh, a I'll I'll reserve judgment till I see the first issue of Comedian Number One. But they're gonna do a it's gonna be well, a yeah, series. That is DC, so. They're gonna do a series of each one, each character. So it's gonna be a, a Comedian Number One. There's gonna be a, a Raw Shark and Night Owl Number One because they're gonna their team in the seventies. And uh, so I mean, hey, it could be okay. I mean, you know, I still I still want to do that ultimate crossover to where. Uh, when uh, when Doctor Manhattan kills Rorschach at the end of the of the series, mm. I, I I had an ultimate crossover to where uh, he didn't kill Rorschach, and I told Big Laz that he sent him to an alternate universe that he would feel comfortable in, and he sent them to Gotham City. Yeah, that'd be awesome. and I thought it would be such a badass comic to have fucking Rorschach and Batman. Yeah, you know, 
as a team. As a team, not really a team. Yeah, but fighting crime without one of the other not knowing. Yeah, I and think then, like having that final confrontation. Like, who the fuck are you? Right, because I think that their their personalities will be. You talk about ultimate detective. Yeah, man. I think the battle will be respect Rorschach. Like, yeah, uh, ultimate. If Rorschach, that the confrontation would be because Rorschach's not afraid to kill. No, Batman is. Yes. And that would be that confrontation. That would be the... the, the like, only. you're a bad motherfucker, but you don't kill on my turf. Right. I mean, right. wouldn't that be an awesome concept that uh, the blue man didn't kill him, but send him to another place that he would be comfortable that with? That would be badass. Right? That would be an awesome concept. But nobody listens to TK. I don't know why. Huh. Our, our comics would be selling. They, I mean, in DC, they've already made known that Watchmen exist in an, uh, okay. like an alternate universe. Yeah, I mean, because they got fucking uh, Reagan... Right. There for like... Or Nixon. Nixon. Or Nixon, I'm sorry. Because like there's an issue years. about... Remember, you know that hero? They, they have a, the question. He looks just like Rorschach. Yeah. Yes, he does. He's got the thing. But he's the question. And there's a, there's a thing where his girlfriend tells him, man, you're not hardcore enough. You're not... You're not you, you fight crime, but you're not like tough enough. You should be like this guy. And he's she has Rorschach. a Rorschach book. And he's like, what? And she's like, read it. Just read it. And, and tell me what you think. And so he's like, Okay, so he's fighting, uh, he's doing a case, and all the while, he's, whenever he's bored, he would just read the, the Watchmen book. Isn't the question in the fucking Justice League? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he's like, he's like, he's like getting more into it, he gets yeah, more yeah. into it, and it's like, more so, character. Like, yo, so eventually he's like, yeah, I'm going to be like Rorschach. So he fucking starts doing it, right? He's, 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 you know, they got him banging that, uh, that purple chick, or the original the the original Batgirl. Oh, uh, Huntress? Huntress. Nice. Yeah, he's he with her now. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. So, yeah, so he's, he, he was, uh, question never gets, like, physically involved, really. But, so he's like, I'm Rorschach. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. so, he goes, so he fucking, he get his ass kicked. So he barges in, he's like, ah, like, ah, he's like, biting, he's fighting them, and they're like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, he just beat the shit out of him. Not only the, the criminals that he's been casing in. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Gonna, they not only they beat the shit out of him, they put him in the trunk, they lock him in the trunk, and then they drive the trunk into, the, the into a river. And so he's like busting out, trying to get out, <laughs> and he fucking, he fuck, somehow gets out, he breaks his hand, he's crawling out, and he's got, he's, and he's got, he's crawling out of the lake, he's all fucked up, he's all uh, like that, and he's got the book, he's like, so you Rorschach sucks. <laughs> that was the end of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the end of that series. Like, oh, Rorschach yeah. sucks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a sore loser. What a jackass. Oh, man. Like, so, like, it's like a comic book saying to a comic book, this is just bullshit. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is make-believe. This is fucking shit. I <laughs> <laughs> almost got killed for doing that. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> it was awesome. It was like, yeah, I'm Rorschach. <laughs> you can do this. They just beat the show. <laughs> he gets his ass kicked in the, the Justice League series, too. Yeah, yeah, he does. He gets his bad, uh, I forget who. He investigates, oh, he invests, not Luther, he investigates. Katniss. Katniss. He investigates yeah. them, and they, they beat the shit. He gets beat by Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah. He beats them bad. <laughs> He has to, uh, uh, he takes off, well, the, the Huntress, like, takes off his face, he didn't want to take it off. Even through his, his, his face, he was, you could see the blood, mm -hmm. he takes it off, he's off. And she's like, oh my god, like, what happened? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's fucking great. I love it. I love that insanity. I don't understand why, uh, the Batgirl went to the Huntress. That's, that's stupid. Uh, the Huntress... Is from an alternate uh, DC Earth. Yeah, but the same as uh, that uh, Power Girl type deal. The no, alternate Huntress. universe type deal. The Huntress is the daughter of Batman and Catwoman. Really? So why do they even show her in the Justice League? Because she came from the alternate Earth and she stuck. Why are just people coming from... What's wrong with the other alternate Because <laughs> that, that's, why, that's why DC's all fucked up. Because they have that, that, that... That's why they have that infinite crisis and that... that Is this uh, why they did the New 52? Because they got lost in their yeah. own story? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, but that, that fucked me up. They, they didn't know... There were so many different origins for everybody. Yeah, but when they brought her over to the Justice League, she, she gets down on, on questions. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, questions the man. Questions the man. Yeah, he's a good detective, but he's, I mean, he's, he's not Rorschach. No, nah, he's not <laughs> Rorschach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nobody. Hey, anything that. else before T and A, sir? Uh, not really. No. What? Yeah, that that came out. It's probably gonna flow. Yeah, he's probably gonna fuck out. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching our uh, our show. Uh, thanks for watching the ultimate discussion of comics that we just had. Guys, support us because we're trying to we're trying to go. We we want a radio station. We want a, a satellite station. He just sent a letter to Spike TV. Yeah, they're, they'll probably laugh at us, but I mean, I would yeah. love. We would love to be on on. We're not looking to be on TV. Just a radio station. Just send the links of the shows and we'll be good. Or or a sponsored uh, YouTube channel. That would be nice. So as long as everybody knows, TK is here to stay. See you later. All right. See y'all, bitches. Whenever we come back. Trump, you still suck.